nerds. Improv nerds. What do you look for as a director in terms of an, an improviser doing the film? Because right. they're not the same thing, right? No, they're not. And I think that there's a lot of in, um, incredibly talented people that don't successfully make the transition to film, and it sucks because... Um, it, it's not because they're a bad improviser or because of anything, it's just that maybe they don't have the skill set that sets them up to succeed on film, uh, whether that's uh, learned or they just um, aren't right for film. Um, a lot of it has to do with the inability to actually to act, which sounds kind of silly to say it out loud, but um, you do need to be able to act. Uh, a lot of film, although, you know, in close quarters, we did not do multiple takes. It was just two cameras or three cameras running continuously. So the improvisations you're seeing are not re-improvised. They had not done anything beforehand. Most of them didn't even know anything until they showed up on set that night. I would tell them very little bit, very little bit pieces of information. Um, but I think what you need is, is the ability to then, because even if you're improvising, even in this kind of open form like close quarters I, that I just laid out, you still need to hit your mark. You still need to know where your light is. There's a lot of stuff that happens on the stage too, but it's, I don't know, you don't really have marks in improv. I mean, that's kind of the thing. So it starts to get weird already for people who are not used to that. And they sometimes people can get really like, they want to do, you know, I just and I just fucked up your shot over there, right? right. Like, but it's what I want to do in the improvisation of the moment, you know? Well, it's, it's more restrictive. What it's you're more saying. restrictive, yeah. So what would you say to like somebody who's like, you know, there's so many people in improv that go on and do very well, Absolutely. you know, in, in film, film and television. What would you, but but they didn't get there purely on improvisation, right? I mean, they had to. What would you tell somebody who's improvising now who wants that kind of career in TV and film? Right. I think it's you know uh, past successes do not necessarily mean future success. If there, there's some sort of saying like that, but it's like you know you if you have a skill set, you have to find a way to take that skill set and make it work towards your advantage. You know, I've worked with a lot of improvisers in town and. It's interesting to see some of the best ones. You know, they, they come to set with note cards with their scripts on it because they they're not good at memorizing. Because you know, a, an actor who went to acting school ha has an ability to get off book like that, right? Like faster than I, like I wrote the thing and they're like, I'm like, how are you off book already? Like I don't even know all the words, you know? I love you. I know okay, you, I know I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get out of this relationship. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Don't for one second I don't think care. that. If you want to get out of the relationship, it's fine. As what? long as you have the baby, I'm cool with it. <laughs> what? Yes. I'm not going to hold you back. <laughs> so you want me to have your child and then leave? It doesn't make you feel, Stacey. Let them know how it makes you feel. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. That sounds like... That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Listen to yourself. We've been together for years, and you want me to have we a have child, and then you don't care what happens next? I don't next? care. I want a child, okay? And, and this it, is the way you want to go about I'm it? Not, that's not my first choice. Don't you think I'd be a great mother? I you would. You would be a great mother. You'd be an excellent mother. But I'm, I'm giving you an escape clause here. 